everyone welcome back to another mukbang so today i will be making baking carbonara um but before we start make sure to check out the description box to get 50 dollars off for the kamikoto knife at checkout and as for the starbucks giveaway winner uh we have caitlin mitchell uh congratulations so just leave your email in the comment box to claim your prize and i will send you the gift card right away um it is weekly so we are restarting all over this week so so make sure to just uh, watch all of my videos and enter the giveaway so we are going to start off with some olive oil i like lots and lots of olive oil for my Okay, I think that's good. And then let's get some garlic. So there is, if you guys, there is another way to make this. If you guys don't really like to chew on the garlic, just kind of crush it and um, fry it a little bit and then remove it. Um, if that's what you guys prefer. But I've been really enjoying the garlic. You know, uh, some of you guys know that I don't, I never did. So I always have to take it out. I do like I do like the flavor though, but recently I've been just getting into it. It's it's not that bad. So, um, yeah, I've been. I lower this a little bit. I've been just eating all of my garlic like an adult. <laughs> so you want to toast them. You can you want them to be light brown. Um, you don't want to burn it. So don't have the pan too hot. Can you? Good boy. You say hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. You say hi. Come here. <laughs> hi, everyone. <laughs> it's been a while, huh? I moved up a little, so um, just because I was just I was feeling too claustrophobic. Um, but hi, Emily. Okay. Anyways, them get that really good flavor in there this is my favorite part of um, making pasta dish just the olive oil and garlic and now we are going to start making some uh so you guys know the original carbonara recipe you use pancetta pancetta um they are supposed to be sweeter than bacon um, and it is the more original, authentic way, but bacon also does, um, like the, you know, say almost the same job. So if you guys want a sweeter, maybe get like honey bacon or something like that. But I just decided to go with the, just the regular bacon today. Post it well. Mmm. Okay. Oh my God. I'm going to also add dry pepper. Um, I just want my. <laughs> I love my pasta spicy. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like I just like I want to eat a lot of it, but some of the pastas just get too heavy and like too creamy for me. Although I really like creamy. But making it spicy really does the trick. Uh, I guess if you want to really stuff your face without getting sick of it. Add something spicy. Nice. Okay. Cool. I just want the bacon to be a little bit more crispy than this. So while we wait for that, um, I have about less than like a half cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to add three egg yolks and one whole egg in here okay and then let's add some salt some salt some salt and then some black pepper and then let's just mix these guys together well ooh, I might need one more egg so I'm going to add one more whole egg in here so some of the recipes that I found, they use all of the eggs. 
um, instead of like where I did like I used three egg yolk and like two whole eggs um, I honestly don't know how the taste changes by using the egg whites um, but I, I don't know I think I personally prefer using egg, egg yolks more so if you have fresh parsley add the fresh parsley but I have my my cormac dry parsley so I'm going to add the Add them in the egg batter, egg mix. Let me mix it together. I made this for my uh, my cousin, my family, um, when they visited last. Oh, actually, beginning of this year for my wedding, I made it for them. Or was it last year? I don't remember. So I made it for them, and they did not like it at all because I think they're used to just like using heavy cream carbonara but um, yeah they didn't like this at all <laughs> okay I think this is pretty good now we are going to add a little bit of white wine this one is Baybridge Pinot Grigio Pinot Grigio I think is the best white wine to use and it's so cheap this bottle was on sale for two dollars so I'm going to add So I'm using this instead of um, pasta water. I'm gonna let it boil, and then we're gonna add the spaghetti, and then we're gonna turn off the heat and mix in the egg egg mix. Uh, you need to mix it really quickly because you don't want the eggs to cook, you know? Okay. I'm going to add some <coughs> spaghetti. Uh -oh. Mix these guys in very well. So I'm going to turn off the heat because the pasta is hot too. Anyways, never rinse your pasta. Never ever. I didn't know that. No, like I knew, like you know, like when I started cooking for mukbang, but before I try to make like even like spaghetti at home, it just like I always wash my noodles. The things that I've learned through mukbang. Okay, so let's let this cool just a little bit. So wine is something that I've never really added in carbonara pasta, but I'm actually following the one of the authentic ones in my uh, Italian cookbook I bought a while ago. Um, so her recipes are a little, little bit different um, from other ones that I see online, but I don't know, she seems really authentic. <laughs> Very home cooking Italian food, so I'm gonna trust her word. Okay. Let's add, okay, let's add a little bit that much first. Kind of mix it well fast. So creamy, oh my god, I'm so excited. Probably not ideal to blow in your food, especially making it for somebody else, but because we want this to be still a little hot, we don't want to serve cold pasta, you know, so mm. oh my gosh. Okay. Looks good. <clears throat> my eggs look good. It looks so creamy. Mm. As if you added 
cream in here. Oh my god. <clears throat> I love pasta. Mm. I think Italian food really fits my palate well. So spicy.
you know, I said and, uh, it was my it's my first time adding white wine into this. I feel like it kind of adds that vinegary taste to it. It's not bad. <clears throat> And I f actually feel like it does a good kind of like a it balances out from like the the egg and the cheese from too creamy, but <clears throat> mm. I feel like it. <clears throat> I feel like you don't. I don't. I, I don't think you need it. Yeah, it has a like sour taste to it. I don't know which one I prefer more because I feel like it kind of like catches that too egg, too like cheesy flavor, but at the same time, isn't that like how the carbonara is supposed to be? I don't know. I think I prefer both way. Mm. <clears throat> Let's move on to the question of the day. So the question of the day is, if you could have a dinner with any celebrity, who would it be? And immediately, my fa my favorite, so I used to only have one favorite uh, American actor. Um, I don't really have Korean, favorite Korean actor, but uh, I never, I just never have a favorite actor. But uh, ever since I got introduced to Sherlock Holmes, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch has been my favorite actor. You know, my friends and I always play this like game here and there, like, who's one celebrity you would have sex with? And I would always say Benedict Cumberbatch. And I feel like that always gets to everyone. Like, like really? It's not like Channing Tatum or like whatever. A lot of my friends said Channing Tatum, which, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's a very popular vote. <laughs> Anyways. I've not just sex, but like, it's somebody that I really want to meet. Um, and... But actually, I like his actor, but my favorite, like, character is Sherlock Holmes. Like, I feel like if I could ever meet... Benedict Cumberbatch in Sherlock Holmes. I, I would be the happiest person in the world. But I would love to have a dinner with Sherlock Holmes as, or Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch as Sherlock Holmes. Because in that character, I want him to analyze me. I want him to like observe me and just tell me who I am. And sometimes I just feel like, you know, other people have see something that you, you just don't actually I kind of if I can like carry him around to my like I know wherever I go and kind of just analyze my interactions with people that'll be that'll be just that'll be just really nice I feel like, <clears throat> but you no, know, the actor himself seems like a really cool person. Seems like a nice person. 
I mean, like, I wouldn't know. Like, the only thing I see is, like, him on TV. But, I don't know. He's, he doesn't seem like an asshole or anything. The other day, I was talking to my friend. A friend. And one thing I realized about myself is that I really like to analyze people. Like the way they say things, what they say, their behaviors, the way they look, the way they deal with things. Maybe I should have been like a psychologist or like a therapist or something. Um, but it just, I just love the, I just love analyzing things. It's just, it's just so interesting. Sometimes I do that too. Um, I also like analyzing couples, like people's relationship. I guess you could say that, oh, you're judging, I guess, but I'm also analyzing. It's really interesting. I wish I want to. I, I kind of want to study psychology now. So I took AP Psychology in senior year. I hated it. I don't. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything I learned from that class. And I think I barely passed it. You really have to study something you want to, or something that interests you. And I guess that's what college is all about. Oh, that was really good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, recipe video. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.